the December test flight of the Orion capsule was widely hailed as a huge success. It was the first time that NASA had launched spaceship a design to carry astronauts far beyond Earth in nearly half a century. During that test parachute successfully slowed the Orion capsule as it fell to Earth but what would happen if one of the parachutes hadn't worked? NASA attempted to find out in today's test flight of an Orion mock-up, which touched down in the Arizona desert after engineers intentionally failed two different parachutes. During the test, a C-17 aircraft dropped a model Orion capsule from its cargo bay at an altitude of 35,000 feet 6 .5 miles, in the skies above the U.S. Army Yuma Proving Ground in Yuma, Arizona. The engineering model capsule then began its parachute deployment sequence. The model has a mass similar to that of the Orion capsule being developed for deep space missions, and similar interfaces with its parachute system. Engineers purposefully simulated a failure scenario in which one of the two drogue parachutes and one of its three main parachutes did not deploy. Despite the parachutes failing, Orion landed gently on the desert floor. As part of the test, engineers also studied a change to the risers, which connect the parachutes to the vehicle from steel to a textile material as well as the use of lighter weight suspension lines for several of the parachutes. Both changes reduce overall mass and volume of the system.